All right, we are back. I am your host, Mid, and we are playing Battletech. Uh, sorry, the break took a little bit longer. Uh, anyway, let's make sure everything's running okay. Get the game audio. Yep, okay. Um, everything else looks good. So I'm contemplating if I really do want to actually... It sounds really quiet in my one ear. Um, contemplating if I actually want to do the priority mission at the moment or if I want to go to here. Let's look at the star map. It's a direct route to each. I mean, I could. I could travel down here and do these missions. I am kind of tempted to. Because um, I do want to build up mid a little bit more. Get some XP for him. Two and a half and a one and a half. It's a straight up battle in a jungle. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, they're both battles. A powerful mech sporting pirate colors. This is probably a heavy. Yeah, we're going to take this contract. Um, I do want to look at some stuff before I take anything, though. Um, I might shuffle some stuff around here. So what do I got? I got three missile hard points. I might change this up. I threw a third launcher on here and more ammo. Um, let's look at the hiring hall real quick. Yeah, there wasn't anyone there. Good. Missile weapons. I have one LRM-15. So... Hmm. Let's take a look at... This has three missile harp. Oh, one's in the head, though. Um, has two missile hard points. This has three. I could turn my Centurion into a missile boat. Where are the hard points on this? Um, they're all on the side torso. Okay. Strip this stuff off. Let's see how three LRM tens. I'm over. Um, I can strip down armor. Oh, I don't need the AC-5. Yeah, I need a lot of ammo, though. I mean, that's... If I get a third ton... I mean, it's only going to give me 12 volleys. Of 30. Yeah, I just don't have the tonnage on this mech. Um, whereas this is a 55 tonner. I'm 
but one of the missile hard points is up on the head. It's like I'm tempted to strip the medium laser off and give him another ton of ammo. Because right now, yeah, I only have 12 volleys. That would give me 18 volleys, which I, I kind of need for extended skirmishes. I think if I strip this off and throw another ton of LRM ammo on here, that's going to give me... Yeah, I'll have 18 volleys I can do instead of 12. That's going to give me 50% more volleys. Um, I can strip down I mean I'm gonna keep this thing in the back so I could actually strip off quite a bit of armor Get another ton of right, let's throw these out here That in there. So I got another ton. That would give me 24 volleys. That's going to give me a lot of sustainability then. Yeah, that's going to give me a lot more versatility. Because then I'll have 24 volleys. I could just basically just keep bombarding stuff, which is nice. Yeah, let's do that. It's going to take four days. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Um, let's take a look. I kind of want to look at these. I got a new SRM4 that has better damage in that, so I do want to actually swap that out. That I do want to do. And I've got 10 volleys I can do with the SRMs, which is fine. I don't really need a ton. I threw a heat sink on here. I have worked on the heat threshold, but that's not on Medusa, not on mid. So. I kind of want something that's a little bit more long range. This is three tons for six tons. I mean, I could replace that with an LRM 10 and a ton of ammo. I do have this medium laser plus 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 which is actually really nice and I do want to use it not on this though so all right we're gonna confirm this on it I'll let you know when that's done all right let's take a look at Blackjack. Kind of wanting to maybe fifteen tons.
kind of want to put in, I kind of want to put some large lasers on this. And a bunch of heat sinks. <laughs> I will need a bunch of heat sinks. Um, and then I could also put my good medium laser on here keep this other one on and then three heat sinks yeah, it could throw some support weapons on here but <clears throat> um yeah that would be two tons I don't really want to waste that tonnage um let's throw Three heat sinks will help a lot. If I toss, uh, remove these. Yeah, I got really good efficiency at longer ranges. All right, so let's throw that back in. We're gonna use the good, I mean, nice new laser. All right, 13 days. Yeah, we're gonna be cutting it close, but yeah, I just, yeah. I think that's gonna work better. I got a lot of repairs coming through. Uh, might as well reevaluate the Centurion then. So let's see. These are actually really efficient. I could get another LRM5. Kind of thinking, get another LRM5, drop this to an AC2. It's 25 rounds for that. I mean, that'll have range. Because I kind of want the range on these. I mean, range is extreme compared to very long. Max is 540, 720, yeah. Uh, what's the max on these? 630, so I could actually fire further with this. Um, what was the large lasers range? 450, they're not as long, but. And that leaves me two tons. So yeah, I could actually throw another LRM on there because yeah, I've got 240. 240 divided by 15 tubes. That's 16 volleys. That's actually really good. Alright, I'm going to have to actually buy... Yeah, let's cancel this. Um, I'm going to have to actually buy a LRM-5 because I don't have any. <laughs> I might have one on the Vindicator, but I don't want to take it off there. I don't care. Um, let's do missiles. Yep, I could buy an LRM-5. Let's buy one of those. New weapon systems available. And let's head back here. Get this. Because this had a 540 range. Take that off and that. Put an AC2 on. A ton of AC2 ammo. Let me go back to missiles. We're gonna throw an, another LRM5 on there. Yeah, I think that's actually gonna help a lot. I think that'll be good. Because as it was with just the two LRM5s, that was a lot. That was a lot of volleys I could fire. I mean, it was 24 volleys. And it wasn't primarily for that. So this is kind of a jack of all trades. So let's actually do this. Yep. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Okay. 
So now we are actually going to take that contract and travel to uh, Herodotus. Uh, so we want to do Let's go. Let's go with. Let's go with this trap sprung. It's straight up battle in the lowlands, two and a half skulls. Uh, we're getting a number of reports from agents on the ground of a powerful mech sporting pirate colors. A single mech operating on its own out in the middle of nowhere sounds like a trap. Our plan is to spring this trap and see who comes to investigate. Engage the mech, intercept the forces, uh, intercept the forces the local pirate organization sends to defend it, and destroy all of them. Forewarned is forearmed, sure, uh, but it's still meant to be a trap. This could get dicey. Um, so yeah, we're probably going to run into a heavy. So I'm going to negotiate full salvage because I want as much salvage as possible. And we will accept this. And take it off. Oh, look at that beautiful ship. Oh. Hey, boss. We've just completed those upgrades. Okay. Oh, noble bonds. Oh, wow, a lot of stuff in here. It's not like the. It's not like I'm the only noble-born person on this on the ship. Says Decker, slumping low in the guest chair. I mean, there's you. Why can't Medusa harass you about their stupid idea? Apparently, when Decker asked to speak to you privately about something, Darius wouldn't understand. Um, it was about the trials and tribulations of being nobility. <laughs> well, what is uh, what is Medusa's idea? You ask. I don't know. Something about cooling systems. He wants me. He wants me to use my connections to get the idea. Get the idea to people who can implement it. And he doesn't believe me when I say my birth doesn't automatically open doors like that. And even if it did, I can't waste it on bullshit. <laughs> Decker gives you a plaintive look. Um, clearly hoping for advice or at least sympathy. Um, okay, sympathize with Decker, but don't get involved. Option B, tell him to send Medusa to you. Option C, tell him to deal with it himself. Um, send Medusa to you. Decker looks relieved to pass uh, along the burden to you, and later that afternoon, Medusa shows up at your door. You scan the roughly written idea and can immediately see that he may actually be onto something. You tell Medusa to work it up into into a full spec, and you'll arrange a follow-up meeting with Chief uh, with Yang to review it in more detail. Uh, Medusa has gained the following for 30 days. High spirits. Unfortunately, we're going to probably not get to utilize that, so... Um, okay, so oh, we want to do ship upgrades. The next ship upgrade we want to do is, oh, that's 900,000. We don't want to spend that much. 450, 270, 225 plus one morale. Um, Ooh, training module. Yes. Mech warriors gain 20 XP per day. Less than 10,000 total exper experience can benefit from this. Yes. Let's purchase that. Okay. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. Um, okay. So let's head back out here. Um, let me manage tasks. Uh, what are we looking at here? We've got 20 days. Okay. All right, let's go. Here we go. Jumping on the jump ship. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. Okay. Uh, normal's fine. Yep. Boom. And ship upgrades done. Not to work, if I may say so. <laughs> you may say so. 
Um, okay, what are we going to do next? Uh, what's this? 270, 70, 450, 225. Um, let's do let us do let's do the lounge next. All right, I'll get the team on it right away. All right, back out here. <clears throat> um, I want to make sure that. I finished the Centurion, so we'll hit arrive and we'll have to sit for two days. Mids return to duty, yay! Uh, temporary improvements. Yang arrives at the morning briefing in a foul mood. Commander, if one more pilot shows up to complain that their favorite mech isn't ready, I'm going to pitch someone out an airlock. Darius intervenes. How about we draft some of them to actually help? It might be educational for them and useful to you, or for you. Dr. Murad has been deep in thought. The Argo has, has very powerful systems that are currently offline. If we, if we could get them working, even only temporarily, it might help with the current workload. Um, option A, draft some pilots. Option B, Argo, repaired power conduits, temporarily hook up the automation systems. Option C, because I've done that, is temporary hook up the refit harnesses. Um, let's do kind of scared to do these, but I'm curious. Um, let's do option B. Let's hook up the temporarily hook up the automation systems. Okay. Whew. Uh, Yang is, is more excited about Dr. Murad's assistance than babysitting some reluctantly drafted mech jockeys. Later that week, uh, Farad checks in with, with an update. Commander, these Star League era systems are amazing but challenging. The automation system is partially online now, or online now maybe for a month. Checking some calculations in her ubiquitous data pad, she arc, arcs an eyebrow, or arches an eyebrow. If we can spare the sea bills, I'd like to spend the time to make this improvement permanent. Um, the work on the power conduits was all the prep we needed to do. I'm ready when you are. Company gains two tech point boost, two tech point boost for 30 days. Excellent. So we're actually going to be done with the century probably really fast now. Three days or not. Okay. That's cool. It deploys the pods. Um, ready to proceed. Not yet. We want to pass two more days to get my Centurion ready. All right. We got the Centurion ready and the Argo's uh, lounge upgrade. All right. So let's look at ship upgrades. Part two. Okay. What's this one? Oh, 450. Uh, don't think so. Um, not going to open another mech bay because I don't really need one at the moment. I'm kind of wanting to do the... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, this automation. 450. No, actually, I want to do refit harnesses. Those are cheaper. I think this one's 270 as well. 20 days. 20 days. Okay, these are the same. Uh, mechs are not meant to bear their own weight while being refitted with new equipment. The Argo's mech bay includes harnesses meant to hoist the mech up for easier access while refitting. Um, you always see cables and stuff hanging around from the ceiling and think, what the hell are those for, right? Lifting and turning entire mechs. When we get them back online, we can lift a whole mech. I mean, honestly, I just want to see that happen. <laughs> um, okay, we will actually do that. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. Because um, we can't really do anything with the med base till we actually get the beta pod. And that's going to be really expensive. So we'll hold off on that one. Because uh, the beta pod's going to be 900,000 as well. 360. Yeah, I kind of want to do the cheapest stuff first and move my way up. So, all right. Let's head out here. We're going to look at the store, actually. Let's, while we're here. Hmm, I got a piece of Centurion salvage. All right, 
nothing crazy. Can't get to the black market yet. Let's look at the hiring hall. <clears throat> uh, Saber Cat. This is another Kickstarter guy. He is another scout. I don't need any more scouts. I need guys I could turn into um, uh, the my gunner type ones, my tanks. Okay, so we're not going to hire you. Sorry, Saber Cat. Um, all right, so we are going to, yeah, we're down to six months of solvency now. Uh, we're going to launch this contract and get going. Mid is back. Sorry, Medusa, you're, you're, you're out, man. You are out. Um, I, well, they got multi-target, which I kind of want. Um, Yeah, mid, you're going to go back into this cursed mech that you seem to always get injured in. Because, oh, you have multi-target too. All right, we're going to actually put you in the Shadow Hawk. Yeah. We're going to have you kind of hang back and not get hit anymore. <laughs> so, hopefully not get hit anymore. All right, let's deploy. Battle in the Lowlands. We're going to hunt down a heavy mech more than likely, and there will be at least a full lance protecting him. Yeah, I just want to get a little bit more... I want to shake down these mechs, uh, get a little bit more experience, and then I want to actually go do that Liberation Panzer. Um, okay, we are getting ready to drop. All right. Yes. While I'm doing this, once again, I will check and make sure everything is running okay um, on my kick, or, uh, Twitch. I want to see if everything's coming up okay, and it looks like it is. All right. <clears throat> Drink some water, and we will begin the mission. Command interface <clears throat> initiated. We are in the area the pirate mech was sighted. Move up and make contact. Let's see what sort of trap this is. Stay alert, Commander. Oliveira out. Ooh, I got my head uh, headlights on. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get a lay of the land. We're in the corner. How big of a map is this? It is not big. Okay. And it's low land, so there's really not much terrain. It's pretty flat. All right, there is a little bit of a hill over here. Got some. There is a hill right here. We're kind of in a valley. Um, rock outcroppings here. That actually, I think I'm going to head across this side of the map. We're going to come down the road, use these outcroppings to our advantage, and engage. All right, so let's get moving. First, though. I want to look at these guys from head on. Uh, look at that. Headlights and everything. That's cool. Spotlights and stuff. All right. Get you moving. Roger that. Don't need to tell me twice. On my way. Wow. He has six evasion. That's in that's insane. Let's move down here. On it. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Position confirmed. I don't want to go too far. I want to hug the side because I really don't want to trigger the event until I'm close to these rocks. It's over here. I oh, can't get over into there. Okay. line everyone up on the edge of the map before I start moving inward because I know it's so small that I'm going to trigger this thing probably fairly quickly once I start moving this direction so good I got some wood or I got some forests I got some rock outcroppings this will be good 
<coughs> okay, let's move Decker up first. He's going to trigger this, I have a feeling. I'm going to park mid right here. Behind this rock. Actually, let's see. Yep, that's still woods. Good. Okay. Um, or I could. Yeah, I want to keep him in woods and I want to keep him under cover. That's good. Move you there. Um, Decker. This is going to trigger it. On my way. Coordinates received. All right. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. There we go. Okay, enemy turn. They have a light and a heavy. Okay, we've got a locust, which is shoddy, so 50% armor. That's okay. That's fine. Um, He moved, so okay. Um, I can actually. Receiving you. What we're gonna do is jump you. Over here. Actually, no. We're gonna jump you. Over here. I don't want him close because if he has SRMs or machine guns then it's going to be ugly. All right, so let's actually... Oh, we got more contacts there. Okay. We want to focus him down first. Got a lock. We took out two of his four evasion. Here comes two mediums. All right, that's a vindicator I saw. All right, mid. We are going to have you attack him. With your two LRM tens. <clears throat> All weapons committed. And don't know what that is. It's another medium, though. So. I hear ya. Um. Okay. So let's move you. Here. Uh -huh. And you're going to fire all your LRMs at him as well. It's like an LRM 10? System holding. Okay, took two hits. That's fine. All right, Behemoth. Um, can we get you? Oh, yes, we can get you into line of sight. Excellent. Firing jump jet. Because if I can shred him this turn. Yeah, let's just do an alpha strike. I want to fire everything. Firing full complement on him. Excellent. I wanted him out. Good. He can't spot for anyone. That's excellent. You'll cool off next turn. That's good. We're just going to kind of displace back here a little bit. That's a Wolverine. Okay. 6K. So that's got a large laser, I think. Or no, that's AC5. It's either a large laser or an AC5. Um, Let us... Let's reserve. I kind of want to see what the other ones are going to do. And I have evasion, so. They're both shoddy, so they've got 50% armor. Could be a PPC. Cool. Missed. Um, okay, so let's move Decker What's the up, heck out of here. 
We're going to have him jump back here. I copy. Okay, so these are the reinforcements. This is the target. Um, yeah, we got to take these guys down quick, and then we can focus on him, because I kind of want to see if I can take him intact. We might have to start retreating backwards, which I'm fine with, um, but I only want to do that if there's one mech. Um, okay, so... I kind of want to strip off his... Evasion. Yep, let's do that. Because that's actually going to be better in the long run. What is he? Oh, it's a dragon. Okay. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to move Behemoth. Um, Alright, so mid, we need you to fire... Um, it's actually better to fire at him. Waiting for orders. Um, let's see, what do we got? Um, yeah, once again, it's actually better to fire at him. just going to fire our SRMs. It's got that nice plus plus. So that's going to do a lot more damage. Firing. It's go time. Ow. So let's move Decker. Firing jump jet. And we are going to sensor lock that Vindicator again. I've got a sensor lock. Okay, let's see. 75, 75. Yeah, we're just going to keep on him. All weapons we might be able to knock him over if we get lucky. Right, let's get Glitch firing. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, actually, no. Glitch is going to jump, and then she's going to fire. Because they're going to shoot at her if she's still sitting over there. So, yeah. We don't want that. Fire. You may fire when ready. Oh, not quite enough. Yeah, critical hit. My armor is getting stripped off. Orders. Um, okay, let's jump here. They'll be in the forest. I copy. Um, yeah, we're going to keep firing these because I kind of want to unsteady him. Yeah, we're stripping his armor good. He's hurting bad. Firing on target. Cool. He just has his AC5 left. Nice. Target's taken a critical hit. Yep. 
just keep them at bay. Um, okay, so we are going to have te Commander. Decker jump. And he can actually hit, or just fire at him and have a good chance to hit him. All right, let's do that. Affirmative. Nice. Good solid hit. Yeah, I got woods between me, so that's actually not too bad. Fine. Um, okay, mid. Next turn, you're probably going to want to move. All weapons committed. Nice. Enemy mech destroyed. Okay. That said I had 400 rounds. How much extra ammo did I throw in there? I thought... Was it too much? How much ammo do I have? Okay, I'm gonna have to reevaluate that, I think. Um, okay, we're gonna have you just move over. I'll let you jump over there. Yeah, we're just gonna keep displacing. We'll have Decker sensor lock one of them next turn. Um, okay, let's have Behemoth Waiting move into the cover copy that I should have had her actually move up there that's fine okay waiting for order can decker sensor lock this guy yep that is the Locked Wolverine. Off. Okay. Engaging jump jets. All right. I'm gonna get you back here, and you're gonna lob some missiles at him. How much ammo do I have? Oh, I put four friggin' tons in there. 480. Oh, yeah, because I wanted 24 volleys. Got it. Okay. It just seemed like an obscene amount of ammo I suddenly had. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I doubled the amount of ammo I had. Okay. So let's fire these. All weapons I'm not going to complain because this is the only weapon system I got on this. There's these two sets of LRM 10s. What can I do for you? All right. We're just going to have you sit here and fire as well. Since you can. Roger that. Firing on target. Commander. Uh, we're gonna jump here. Lifting off. Kind of want to get you where you can actually fight. Uh, move in and brawl when the when it happens when that when that need arises right, Decker we are gonna move you Ooh. I don't know if I want to do that though Um, no. I don't want to risk that. So we're going to jump over here. Yep, we're just going to keep rotating around, maneuvering, firing, maneuvering, firing. All right, you are sensor locked. Got a lock. You were the closest one, so you're going to get sensor locked. Okay, mid's turn. We do need to move him. Engaging jump jets. 
And firing. All weapons committed. So not really shredding the armor off like I was hoping, so. Waiting for orders. Uh we'll just keep moving. Ooh, you were actually gonna have some direct line of sight finally. Uh yeah. We're gonna fire the AC too. Finally, got through that armor. Ooh, structure uh, SRM six crit, nice. Good to go. Right, can you jump here? Yeah, if I can jump you over into here and then go in and brawl, uh, that'll work. Like jump out here, fire. All right, brace. Yep, and your heat's all under control again, so that's good. Oh, you're making a beeline for her. Uh, all right. Um, Good to go. Engaging jump jet. We're gonna do this, and we are gonna sensor lock to strip off some of that evasion. Comes that Vindicator. Ooh, hit on the leg. Okay, I was hoping that they wouldn't get an angle from, from there, but okay. Um, I'm gonna risk mid standing still and firing. All weapons committed. Okay, we're shredding off the other side now. Um, okay. Oh, we're on that side, so that's good. Fire everything. Alright, I think it's yes. time for Behemoth to kind of wade into this. That'll work. We'll just walk in. Hi there! <laughs> Welcome to my quick draw. And we're just gonna alpha strike you. Yeah, you don't have much le okay, you're actually doing okay. I could do a precision strike. It's not really gonna matter though. Actually, let's do Yeah, I'm at 90%. What's a precision strike gonna give me? 90. So it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna do normal. Fire everything. Nice. That hit something good. Oh, uh, that hit a lot of something good. Oh, you're gonna come up and fight hand to hand. That's so adorable. That's cute. Reporting heavy damage. Yeah, it hurt, but it's cute. Uh, okay, so let's get yes, Decker moving. Roger that. Can you jump and we're gonna sensor lock him? Yeah, he's got a medium laser left. But we need to take him down, so let's do this. Yep, you're gonna make. Oh, you're not actually gonna charge over here. Oh, okay, you actually are gonna fire. Okay. Ow. Okay, mid. Fire. All weapons committed. Okay, glitch. Can you get direct line of sight on him? Ooh, yes, you can. Uh, 
that what I want? Hmm. No. All right. Well, we're gonna actually move you. Over here. Affirmative. Uh, fire another volley at this amigo over here. Time to die. Please take him out. Nope. Okay, behemoth. Ready for orders. Uh, I think I'll alpha strike. I'll do way more damage than I will with a melee attack, so. Um, what do we got here? 90. Yeah, he's going to, hopefully he's going to disintegrate under this. All right, let's do this. Firing full complement on him. There we go. Yeah, I needed that. Oh, this is gonna suck. You're gonna fire again and hit her. Okay, you at least you hit areas and there's no internals. So that's good. Orders. Okay, last dude. there and fire everything okay this we're actually going to let's see what do you got you have the gpc on your right arm what's in your right torso heat sinks are of five and small laser on that side where's the medium laser at oh it's in your head okay so there's not we take out the side torso, that's going to probably be the best bet. And we're actually shooting at that side, so that's actually good. All right, fire everything. Giving him everything I've got. Okay. We're going to actually have you fire again. That's all going into his side, too. Excellent. All right, took his PPC out. That's good. Look at that thing drop. Boom. Critical damage detected. Good to go. All right, we're going to have you jump over because I kind of want to stick in that side. Tor yep, I want to get in the side arc. Excellent. Behemoth, we're just jumping you out of there. Get the heck out of there. Copy that. Jump, flee. <laughs> Glad you have the heat threshold. That's actually coming in handy. All right, brace. He's going to just probably pursue you. Oh, nope, he's actually going to turn. All right, he's going to come after mid now, it looks like. Mid's pristine, so that's fine. And you lost your big heavy hitting weapon system, so... Um, okay, let's do... Okay, I want to get in your side arc again. That works. Uh, how about here? That works actually a little bit better. 55% me, eh, but hey, it's in your side arc. That's what I want. I want the side arc because that's really damaged. Head hit. So he's taking two Enemy injuries. Critical damage detected. I saw a head hit in there. I hear ya. All right, glitch. Let's have you jump as well. That'll work. I leap. I soar. Yes, you do. Glitch is the best. 
Uh, all right, we're just gonna yeah, we're alpha striking. Oh no, heat's gonna go over. Um, let us drop. Let's drop a LRM five. Yep, that'll work. Tell me what to shoot. Decker. All right, yeah. Um, I'm not going to be I don't think I'm going to be able to fire everything, but we'll see. Jumping. Oh yeah, we are not going to be able to fire everything. Um, yeah, we can't fire, we can fire a single, uh, we'll fire the two medium lasers. Hey, one point left. All right, precision strike on a CT. Come on. We got to hit this. Target confirmed. There we go. There you go, Decker. You're the hero, man. Not really, but okay. There's not going to be much salvage. That's all, Commander. Good shooting. Mission successful. All right. Excellent. Okay. Let's see that sweet, sweet salvage. Good XP. No one was injured, no internals, so that's good. Uh, we're going to take the dragon. Maybe we can get a wolverine out of this. Um, yep, we'll take the wolverine. We'll be able to complete that. Uh, confirm. Oh, we got the other two pieces too, the Vindicator and the Locust. We got another Locust. Awesome. Yeah, these early ones, because there's so much shoddy armor, it's hard to actually take a mech intact. Um, it's easier if they're full armor, because you could just... Uh, shake them and knock them uh, stagger them and knock them down repeatedly with uh, missile barrages and auto cannon fire because they could absorb those hits but when they're this weak from their ar half their armor or more being gone it's yeah it's really hard ready to fight Mac chassis complete Wolverine WVR 6K. The Wolverine 6K models don't usually include jump jets in order to mount more energy weaponry heat sinks and armor that mech you wanted is back on Back chassis complete, Locust LCT 1V, the basic Locust 1V has one big advantage, speed. It's not meant to put up much of a fight, and you'd be hard-pressed to find a mech that goes further and is harder to hit. Um, yeah, we're going to stow that. Um, let's go to the mech bay. We're going to stow some stuff. Probably going to stow the Vindicator. I'm not using it, so I may as well stow it. Um... I think I'm going to replace the blackjack with the wolverine. So let's stow this first. Uh, what's this got on it? Um, it has... Three energy hard points, one missile, no ballistics. Hmm. Let's see what we can do with this. Because it's going to have 10 more tons, and that is very, very nice. Yeah, the weak link will be, then be my Centurion. I mean, I'm using this as a scout currently, so... Let's look at... does it have okay let's strip everything uh and let us okay that's ma okay everything's maxed pretty much 
max this stuff out, get that up to 50. Get to 55, that maxed out. That to 50, max that out as well. Uh, we'll drop, drop. Um, because it's a laser fist, as, a, as it's affectionately called in MechWare Online. The 6K, it's, it's got a laser fist. It can mount four energy weapons in its arm, in its one hand. Which means it has to shield. So I could put. I got 15 tons. All right. First things first, though, I got to put jump jets in this thing. I don't care that it doesn't come with them normally. I have to have jump jets. So we're going to put four jump jets in. Those are. Half ton a piece. Um, I may put one more in. <laughs> Pets are not wanted on the Argo, or not allowed on the Argo. If you see something fluffy on shore leave, enjoy it there. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, okay, so I keep these lasers on. Yeah, I'm going to have to put a bunch of heat sinks on this thing, too. Kind of just want to put two large lasers on it. Two large lasers. Or I could throw a PPC. That has 540 or 50. It's got a longer range. Oof. Does does more damage though, so this is 40 damage, zero stability. This does actually stability damage though. Um a lot of heat though. So if I actually take this up, let's see how horrifyingly bad this will be. Oh, I could put one PPC on there. I only have one PPC, so never mind. I'm going to stick with the two large lasers, though. Um, we're going to throw another jump jet. And we can actually max out that armor. Okay. Um... I still got three tons, so we are actually going to throw some heat sinks on here then. Uh, let's move two jump jets into the CT. Move this over there, because I kind of want to keep this side dead. Heat sink, heat sink. Heat sink. This thing will be able to jump. Oh, no, no, can't do that one. This thing will be able to jump like crazy. Have good range with the jump jets. Eight days. Yeah, firepower sucks now. That's fine. It's going to be my scout. And I want it to take hits. Because, yeah, two large lasers, that's 40 damage a piece. You could probably fire this pretty much nonstop. Okay, I like that they're actually putting stuff on here now. So the tooltips didn't actually have this before. So this is a nice quality of life improvement that they've done. So let's look at the one rating. Okay, cool. Movement, max move 140, max jump 180, which is really nice. Max sprint 240. Because that's what I wanted. I wanted it to actually jump further than it can move because it's just, I can get more versatility out of that um, so 
heat sink uh, alpha strike is 36 heat sinking is 36 average jump heat is 10 shut down 100 heat so this is excellent so i can actually alpha strike and jump and slowly build my heat up every single turn so i could do that for many turns in a row which is not going to happen so that's actually really really nice um so yep we're going to do this confirm Congratulations, right. Decker. Okay, you just got a new Mac. We're going to move that one over there, put that one in there. Um, I think we're going to hold off on using it immediately, though, because I want to do one more mission. Um, we have one more contract here, and I'll hold off on... We'll use the Wolverine in the Liberation Panzer mission. Because these are working out really well. Um, and with that... We are at 11.13 EDT, which is 15 minutes past when I should be stopping because I do need to get better sleep. I have been staying up way too late. So, all right. We're going to end this here. So, everything's looking good. We got eight days because if we go to the contracts, that is 20 days out. Oh, wow. We got all sorts of stuff here. Damn. Damn. Uh, okay. Where's this at? Oh, back in Weldry, we have another... <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Wow, we got a lot of contracts here. So, we had the cease and desist, was it? No, it wasn't. It was... The, the other mission disappeared. There was a second mission here, which was a battle... Was it this one? Yeah, because, uh... No, it was in a jungle, though. Um, okay, so that's interesting. We could take one for the local pirate organization. Extremely heavy mech with canopian hair. Ooh another trap one and they're saying it is a heavy mech data liberation target acquisition interesting your objective is to deploy beacons to a target facility. Triangulating the facility will allow friendly forces to make their move. Facilities may have advanced anti-aircraft defenses as well as ground forces. This mission is time box, so bring fast mechs and move quickly. Interesting. Seems like it's a new version of a... I don't... I've done time boxed ones like this in the priority missions in the, my first run through of the campaign, but... This is the first one I recall that is just a straight-up contract. Hmm. Interesting. Whoa! 22 could be the max salvage of this? It's only a one and a half? Wow. But it probably isn't going to have that much mech-wise. This sounds like a messy scenario, Commander. That satellite is only going to be overhead for a short time. Um, it's back on Weldry. This is a destroy base. Destroy bases are messy as hell, especially early on. Um, although with a lot of LRMs, it actually is not too bad long-range weaponry because um, you can usually take out the turrets before they are within range of you. So, eh, we might try these. Um, real quick, though, Mech Warriors, uh, XP, A mid. Oh, you're gaining XP because of the uh, the training pods. 
Well, we can do that, or we can do that. I do want the indirect fire uh, penalty, minus one indirect fire penalty, because you are the LRM guy now. Training confirmed, Commander. Um, okay, so... Yes, Commander. You're gaining XP now at a very trickle-like rate. Waiting for orders. Um, let's see, you only have 100. Oh, yeah, because you weren't in the order. last one. Uh, let's see, we want to... Jessica Chernonovska? Chernovskaya? Chernovskaya. She is from... Federated Sons. Okay. Anyway, let's look at skills. Um... Ooh, another health. Hmm. Hmm. There's a problem with the gin we picked up on Liar Tin. For the sake of everyone, if you have any, dispose of it immediately. Oh, I love that stuff. Um, so I could get evasion if I go this route. Hmm. Can't go wrong with the base weapon hit though, and you're getting really close to breaching shot. All right, let's go with that. I think I'm gonna go with it now. Let's get the piloting skills up. Let's get these all up to six. Mech warrior training complete. Because I'm not, yeah, I, I'm, I gotta, you gotta try to keep the stuff even. Because if you go too crazy in one tree, then they just get all weird and out of whack, and they start taking damage better. They just start, the shortcomings become very obvious at that point. All right, Decker, you can actually take this though, which I wanted because. Because you don't have to worry about heat. Yeah. All right. I'm on it. Yep, we want your sure-footed. Or sorry, ace pilot. Because now you can actually shoot and then move. Which is actually going to be very helpful. Training complete. You are now a recon specialist. Standing by. Um, okay, so we're going to do the same thing over here with her. Let's get her. Yeah, cause she needs... Actually, what's this? Health. Um, yep, let's do that. Training confirmed, Commander. So you're up with uh, Glitch and uh, Behemoth are pretty much neck and neck skill-wise. Yeah, I suck. Because <laughs> I've been injured so many damn times. What can I do for you? Everyone else has more kills Ready than for me. Orders. Ready for orders. Even Medusa, for crying out loud. Waiting for orders. Oh, Decker doesn't. Five to my five. six. Okay, so I actually am doing better than Decker for kills. Um, other kill six. Good to go. He has eight, so he actually has destroyed more, destroyed more vehicles than I have. Um, okay. What's up, boss? Commander, so I think on you. we are good to go. 
Standing by. All right. Um, with that, I'm going to call it a night. We will pick this up tomorrow, and we will do some more of these contracts on... Um, where the hell are we? <laughs> like, wherever we are. Herodotus, I think it is. Uh, so, yeah, we got a whole bunch of contracts we can take. Figure out which ones we want to do. Might roll through all four of them if they're still here. And then we'll head off to do Liberation Panzer, because these could be... This will be good... XP, um, a lot of XP, a lot of salvage, a lot of money. So yeah, it's gonna be good in general. It, it, it's a good thing. Yeah, I got 20 days on the Argo upgrade, but if we're not moving between planets, then hey, that's a good thing. Anyway, have a wonderful night. I'll catch you tomorrow. My name is Mid. This has been BattleTech, and we will, or I will see you again real soon. Good night.